let me show you how you can validate the request so how you can find which request is it to do that let me just get rid of this statement i'm going to leave this main function as it is because inside this main function we have the connection so if we have the successful connection i'm going to execute this statement and just for that i'm going to get the user http request to get that we need this request parameter so here at the bottom i'm going to say constant in the object i'm going to say method is equal to we pass here request so i'm going to just destructure a property called method from this request and right down here we can say switch method and inside this we can display different cases so if it is get request i'm going to say response dot status 200 dot json and inside this json i'm simply going to print an object with endpoint users just saw that at second case so i'm going to pass here a case if it is post request if it is post request then i'm going to return a response so i'm going to say here response status 200 and this is going to be the post request something like this and make sure to pass here break statement like this to break the statement when the condition is met after that we need to specify the default statement as well so we specify here default in the default statement i'm going to set the header so i'm going to say here response dot set header allow and then we pass here in the array get and post so we allow only get and post request and we're going to send a response so response dot status 405 which is the error code and then i'm going to say here end and here i'm going to specify backtick operator and say method and then we print here method the user method not allowed like this and we break this statement as well that's it i'm going to just save the changes and to test this post request i'm going to open the postman testing tool using the postman testing tool i'm going to make a request to the user endpoint and get the response so if i specify here localhost 3000 api users when i make a get request when i click on the send you can see when i click on the send button i'm going to get here a response called method get and the endpoint is going to be user i'm going to get same response on the browser as well but as you know using browser you can't make post request you need a form to make a post request but let's make a post request using postman here i'm going to choose post and click on the send button you can see I'm going to get a response method is going to be post and the endpoint is going to be user what if i make a put or delete request when i make a delete request you can see i'm going to get an error message this is method delete not allowed so this is going to return this default statement so this is how we can simply create http request in the next.js application and now using this get we can get the data from the mongodb database and using this post we create a new data inside MongoDB database. Don't worry, when we build a project, I will explain everything step by step.